Tim and I'm an Applications Engineer at National Instruments UK. I'm going to show you an RF power amplifier testing system that is compatible with the LTE and LTEA 4G mobile standards. The system is comprised of the National Instruments PXI system. Uh, we also make use of the Vector Signal Transceiver and we programmed it using LabVIEW. But first, let's have a look at the physical setup of our device under test. Our DUT is a digital variable gain amplifier produced by mini circuits. Power amplifiers like this are found in all mobile phones, wireless network routers, laptops and tablets. Therefore, it is important to have a fast and accurate testing system for both R&D purposes and in mass production environments. The VST combines the functionality of a vector signal generator and vector signal analyzer within a small form factor, whilst also making use of an FPGA. The FPGA allows RF engineers to implement custom functionality at the hardware level. In the test system we have created, we've customized the FPGA to provide two main functions. Firstly, we use it to control the gain mode of our power amplifier using the digital input and output lines of the VST. Secondly, we also perform power level servoing on the signal coming out of the power amplifier. These are two tasks that are often needed when testing digital variable gain amplifiers. Power servoing is used to fix the mean output power of the amplifier to a desired value. This makes the tests repeatable and more meaningful. A complete description of FPGA power level servering can be found at this link. We made use of an existing power servering VI library found at ni.com forward slash IPnet. This and other intellectual property is free to download and comes with extensive documentation to considerably speed up development. This left us with more time to concentrate on our test system architecture. Let's have a look at the system in action. We're going to generate an LTE signal, then we're going to level the output power of our device under test, and then we're going to perform some standard RF tests. In this pane, we can fully configure our PUSCH LTE signal. We'll choose a typical carrier frequency of 1.8 GHz and we'll set a 64 QAM modulation scheme. We'll set the system bandwidth at 10 MHz and set the desired power level to minus 10 dBm. In this pane, we can watch as we level the LTE signal. We're plotting the time it would take on a typical box instrument setup in black and on the FPGA we're plotting it in red. We have to zoom in to see the graph for the FPGA as it's so fast. It takes about 3.6 milliseconds for it to settle at the desired power level, which is about three orders of magnitude faster. The speed improvement is critical when testing all the gain modes of a power amplifier or in a production line testing environment. Now let's do a power in band or channel power measurement. So here we can see the top hat like power spectrum of the LTE signal and we're presented with the value of the measured channel power. Note that the mean output power is levelled in the background to minus 10 dBm as we previously specified. Let's go ahead and change the gain of the amp power amplifier to 12 dB and change the desired mean output power to minus 15 dBm. And we can run the power in band test again to confirm that the mean output power is levelled to minus 15 dBm. Let's go ahead and perform another test on our dot. We'll perform an error vector magnitude test on the same signal. Here we can see the EVM value in decibels alongside the constellation diagram for our signal. While the EVM runs, just as before, the output signal power is continuously levelled in the background to minus 15 dBm. We also have the ability to run a characterization test on our power amplifier. We're going to do a power linearity test, which is effectively a series of one-shot power in band measurements. As an example, we're going to start with an input power of minus 30 dBm. We're going to increment in steps of 1 dB until we reach an input level of minus 15 dBm. From the results, it looks like the power amplifier performs well over this range. Although our system is configured to use LTE signals, it would be easy to repurpose to use other RF standards such as WLAN and WCDMA using the toolkits that are available for LabVIEW. In conclusion, the National Instruments Vector Signal Transceiver, coupled with the comprehensive LTE, WLAN and WCDMA toolkits available for LabVIEW, provide an optimal solution for testing RF devices at the latest standards. 
FPGA extensions allows for the addition of custom functionality whilst also maintaining all the features that you'd normally expect from a vector signal transceiver. Please follow the links below to see impressive applications built with the VST and to learn about getting started with your own. Thank you.